interesting morning. Uh, my ears are pretty bunged up and I've been trying to see a family friend doctor. So I see his dad said we should go see this guy. I see his dad called up his friend. His friend Aladdin called, said he called this doctor and we went to go meet him this morning. So we get in the car, we go there, we roll up, go to introduce myself like he knows we're coming. This doc doctor basically says, in what flipping country can you go to a doctor's place without booking an appointment to see a specialist? So he's pissed off that we just showed up. Meanwhile, I don't speak the language. There's all this hand throwing going up and getting to see him. <laughs> he's talking trash the whole time, but he said he was mad at Aladdin, not at us. And uh, end of the day, what happened is, is uh, both of my ear canals from my ear to my nasal passage are completely plugged. Got some stuff for it, some antibiotics, some nasal spray. So hopefully it clears it up. And now we're actually on our way to go to the rackia making session. Asi is gonna drive, which should be interesting. She's a good driver, but it's pretty sketchy driving here uh, in general. So we're heading out there and we'll catch you guys in a bit. It's uh, gonna be a little bit awkward walking through here, but I kind of wanted to get an in-depth look as to the process that goes into making rakia. What rakia is, is a plum-based brandy, and it's uh, more of a cultural thing. You guys saw the B-roll that went into it. It's like old school distillery style, passed down from generation to generation. We're gonna go check it out right now. So you can see, this is the shack that they do it in. They also do it in this other shack over here. Where they get the plums is right here. Asia's father has kind of planned this around my visit and I'm very, very honored to be here. And it's just a super cool experience to be a part of. So let's go check it out. So right here is what we, what we have is where the, the plums ferment. They leave them there for about four to six weeks. This is the remnants of what's left over. This is chorba, how it's made and it's old fashioned. Chorba is one of my favorite Bosnian meals. It's just like a hearty soup. They get everything prepared right here. This is the distill or the distillery. I'm not 100% sure how you say it. You know, this is the old school style of doing it. So the first half a liter that they get, which is right here, which is produced is it's methyl alcohol, which is gives you a super bad headache. They get rid of that, they throw it out. And then after that, they get the first 10 liters, which is about 50 to 60%. And everybody's kind of making fun of me right now. Yeah, they see some foreigner recording this stuff with a gimbal, which is obviously awkward for them. Not awkward, but different. So anyways, so they, they put the plums in right here. They have a fire going underneath here. The condensation goes up through this pipe, comes down, gets cooled through this water right here, and then comes out of this tap right here. <coughs> it's an all day process. Everybody kind of just sits around and has a meza, smokes cigarettes. This guy right here in the orange shirt, they literally rent this unit right here for about 50 canadian dollars for the day once they get about 10 to 12 liters out of this they then dump it out of this comes out of here 
and then goes into this pit that they've dug. Uh, some of the farmers, they use the pits from the plums and they dry them out and use them as kind of like a fire, firewood. This guy's stalking the fire. We're gonna check out the chorba right now. What has happened throughout the years, something that's been passed down from generation to generation, and their father did it, and their father did it, and their father did it. Kiko, as his dad, wanted me to be engulfed in the full experience. And man, it's so weird getting all these looks from these people. But it's something that I felt like I needed to share with you guys because the Bosnian culture is something that is just super interesting to me. I absolutely love this culture. This experience in itself, being a part of this whole deal, has just been a super awesome experience and I wish I could share it with you guys and that's why I'm making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already, hit that sub button, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't had any questions, throw one below. I'll make sure to get back to you. And thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.